Welcome back to War Thunder. Today I have something different for you and this is the T25, the American medium tank at a battle rating of 5.7. And I'm not sure if I'm right with this, what I'm going to say, um, the following sentence, the rest I think I'm pretty confident in, but it seems like this tank is not very popular on the battlefield. And the question is, why? Now, why is this tank not really that popular? I mean, everything about it is decent to usable to good. And especially the results that I, for myself, got were actually pretty damn good. Um, there were some games with six and seven kills and I won a lot of the battles without too many effort. Now, the reason why I, you know, raise this question in this way, shape or form is, well, it's very similar to a tank that I can call Tank X for the sake of the argument. And the argument is that both tanks are very similar, yet they have a very different kind of feeling to them. With the T25, I feel I have an option to play it. I do not need to play it to go over this battle rating. Again, 5.7 battle rating wise and tier 4. Yeah, that's correct. So, well, where I'm going with this? Well, it's very simple. The T25 is a medium tank and it is equipped with a 90mm M3 cannon and it has a lot of ammunition. It also has a top mounted 50 caliber machine gun. It has a horsepower to ton ratio of around about 13, if I'm correct, and a top speed of 50 kilometers an hour. Furthermore, 10 degrees of gun depression and 25 degrees of turret traverse. That is pretty good. Reload, however, is 8.5 seconds. And all this is very good. Now let's have further a look at the ammunition. We have an APH e shell with 165 millimeters of penetration and a roughly 140 grams of explosive mass in it. So that's your M82 shot. I love this round. It has served me really well on the numerous occasions on various different tanks, especially on the Super Hellcat. We also have a solid shot with 189 millimeters uh, with the AP buff. It is an option, let's put it that way, against tanks that have a bit more armor. And even if you have to go through extremely much more armor, that is flat, for example, on a Jagdtiger, you can use your APCR shot, the M304 shot, with 264 millimeters of penetration. Also, you have an HE shell, but that is borderline useless. Now, the thing is, this tank is not very popular. What about the armor? Well, the side armor and the side of the turret is pretty squishy, around about 50 millimeters. On the engine deck, it's even less. And the front of the tank has effectively between uh, 140 millimeters to 100 millimeters, with um, just around about 80 to 90 millimeters effectively on the turret front. That means a lot of stuff that is going to shoot you will hurt you. Um, what about the survivability? Well, you have five crew members, three in the turret and two um, in the hull in the front of it, one machine gunner and also one driver and that is very similar to the tank x let's let's just call it tank x however tank x is in another nation it is a heavy tank so it requires more spawn points furthermore unlike the t25 it doesn't have any mobile support okay it also doesn't have a top mounted 50 caliber machine gun it has a bit higher rate of fire by 1.1 seconds roughly around about this um, which, you know, is good, but it has a slower turret traverse. It also has less gun depression and less gun elevation. It has, it has less horsepower to ton ratio, and while it can angle its armor, it doesn't really save anything from really penetrating it. It is also slower by 5 km an hour. It is also slower in reverse. It's slower in the neutral steering, and um, yeah, overall it also has the same kind of survivability. To a certain degree even less because the ammunition is stored differently. Also the cast support that this tank X has is way inferior to the American cast and also to a certain degree still the British cast. Now the question for me to you is what tank is tank X? Yeah it's the Tiger. It's the Tiger H1 and the Tiger E. 
and both are not as good on the battlefield due to the team composition and the support that we have and also in later stages everything that goes with it and the tiger is not necessarily a bad tank hell i have loved or i loved the um, heavy tank number six for the japanese but that was played differently much more players um, enjoyed this tank and just ruffle stumped the uh, enemy teams also it got support in the shape of numerous uh, medium tanks and even light tanks you know m24 m41 walker bulldog to name something in that battle rating bracket that can support it um hell even the soki which is a fun little thing um so the same also goes for the Soviets, if you look at it, with the IS-2 and the IS-1. They also have support from t 3485 in numerous versions, and also their air support and anti-CAS and CAS is just simply better than the German one. One thing that I have to add is Canon CAS. Canon CAS has um, numerous problems, and that is the reason why the Soviet cannon cast, the 37mm, is not as popular as the bombs and rockets, and same goes with the Americans. If, you know, the duck is praised for its massive firepower, the question for me is why is nobody flying the, the B-25 variant with the 76, no, 75mm gun in the nose? Um, it is the PBJ-1H, or Hell, for sake, what is the premium plane? The XA38 Grizzly. I mean, you can fly them, but I have not seen them. And I also have not seen them doing anything in the one occasion where I saw an XA38. And those are planes that have powerful engines, better defensive capabilities, are faster, and have more ammunition. Um, with also, you know, powerful secondary ammunition. The more popular CAS is the bomb CAS and the rocket CAS, even after the readjustment to, you know, normal gameplay standards. And also to survive against enemy CAS or enemy anti-CAS is much more easier in an American, British or Japanese plane than it is in a German plane. And those facts just come together and make the T-25 just enjoyable. In a direct engagement between a T-25 and a Tiger, um, it also depends on the circumstances, but overall I would give the advantage in around about 55% to the T-25 due to the, well, better turret rotation speed. If it is on a staging ground, so to speak, where the Tiger is in a defensive position, where it can angle at long ranges and so forth, maybe the Tiger is better. But you can see both tanks are still very similar. I tried to play the Tiger and I really tried the H1, I tried the E, I tried the Panthers with the exception of the, um, you know, um, the Asats M10. I just had a very damn hard time because of that slow turret rotation speed, because of the slow horsepower to ton ratio or the low horsepower to ton ratio and just not being able to absorb any sort of damage, repair in time, having no support from the flanks, being outflanked all the time. If you go for the flank yourself, it doesn't really work. All that stuff works together and for the T25, it's a completely different case. You have planes in the area, you have SPAA that actually has not a lot of stuff to do. People can rejoin in light tanks or in SPAA uh, more often due to being able to um, go for capture zones faster to get some kills early on. You have support by from the flank with Hellcats which is so good and certain people that play in the American um, tanks just don't realize which kind of benefit they have. Same goes for a lot of the Soviet tanks, that they just don't get outflanked by Germans. And um, again, this is just my point of view. It is my experience by having played the tanks. Um, I'm not salty in any way, shape or form. This is just an informational video about how I see it from the perspective of the T-25 which you could see in the background. This video is just, you know, to present you something else than uh, 
a huge amount of French tanks that are presented recently uh, and also the yeah, Satz M10 which is basically you know a German tank and you know it's been a while since I presented you an American tank so this is now something that I think is overdue also the T25 doesn't get featured very often um, I will return to higher tier tanks soon and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is kind of a response video for people that heavily, heavily criticized me, for example, um, with my talk with Miles. And I had to delete certain comments because I was, you know, told that I'm a racist, that I am an elitist, that I am a Nazi, and all this beautiful stuff. And just to bring again facts to the table in a proper argumentation with the background footage to kind of prove it at least from my perspective and um, this is my standpoint this is my experience i just can tell you the story from my point of view because everything else would rely on other people's opinion and uh, you know you can then listen to something else but you know you come here to enjoy my opinion and my speech so to speak um, so yeah, I hope this kind of video doesn't trigger too many of you, if yes, so be it, if no, and you just think about it, um, you know, try it out for yourself, you know, drive a few rounds with the Germans and drive a few rounds with the Americans, for example, or hell, the British or the Soviets, and you will feel the difference. Look at the minimap, look how the game develops, how the kill messages pop up. And if you don't believe me, you can also go into the replay and go into a bird's eye perspective and observe the area with all the markers, how it develops. And you will see what I just told you. So again, um, Tank X is actually not that much worse than the T25, but in everything important around it, it has less advantages. Again, the spawn points for just spawning the vehicle are less medium versus heavy tank then the armor is more or less equal everything will punch through it regardless you get up tiered as often as you get in the tiger the cast support and the flanking support is much better when you know driving with the americans than it is with the germans and it is not necessarily the problem with the skill or you know the knowledge of the player because again the german tech tree doesn't provide the support that is needed to really survive in the environment that Gaijin has created uh, for Tank RB. Again, um, if you are open for a proper discussion, you know, we will uh, have um, a lot of conversations in the comment section, I guess. And yeah, that it that it is for me today. So thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Please give this video a like with it. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other on the battlefields of War Thunder.